nearly forgot to video the teardown. Wheels come off easily enough, screw in either side. It looks like the um, chassis, I suppose we can call it, comes apart in two s splits down the middle. So there's a load of screws around the edge. I don't know what's happened there. Well, that's where the aerial comes out. Looks like we've got to take the battery compartment off just so we can split the body. Take them all off. I don't know about you, but I got the impression the wheels were on backwards. Normally, you sort of have the point going that way. So I reckon somebody might have taken the wheels off before. Sorry if the lighting's not quite right. Uh, it's not quite my usual lighting setup. Right. We got. reach for that screwdriver. A little bit frustrated here. I had hoped to get away without doing a disassembly on this one. Just get out and play with it. Because we've got rainy weather, plenty of puddles. Ideal to go out there and give it a test. screws here that I'm hoping I don't need to touch at the moment.
just looking at that charger over there. And the voltage is bouncing around. I'm try to see got a good contact on it. It's going down to six volts and up to seven point something. Right, have I undone enough screws? Let's have got and do that as well. I see that bit comes off the back, that's a separate piece, I didn't notice that. Stopping that come off. Another screw just there. I mean, like they put glue all around that one, but that's not what's stopping it coming apart. Must be something I'm missing. Right, I'm going to pause a minute and have a search on that. I just had to be a bit stronger with it. There's a slot there that that piece goes into. So we're clear now. That's the area I want to replace. Okay, is it going to come apart now? No. One more screw. Here we go. Oh, those are some good sized motors in there, I can see.
Right, here we are. It's got a nice rubber seal so that it's waterproof. Motors are absolutely coated in grease. That's our controller board. And what we want to get to is that aerial. It comes all the way back through in there. To unscrew here to get the controller board out, the receiver. Oh, one of my lights is flickering now. This is about as awkward as it can get to. There's the aerial or antenna. It's down the bottom here. It's glued at that end, so I'm gonna have to release it somehow so I can pull it out and replace it. I don't know what sort of glue they've used. I got it. The receiver's clipped in a box. Here's my little tool. The reason it's been awkward is there's one screw holding it together. Missed that. Yeah. Right. Well, that was harder than it should have been. to do is get to there to replace that wire. Question is how long should it be? Shall we assume they haven't lost any off the end of it? 
so it's that long. I'll go and see what I've got. Could just have a look what that chip number is. RX2B. Excellent. Sorry about the shaky hand. Let's see if we can get it back together now. with that component. I think that's a thermal fuse. Right, this might be fun. I have to open that hole out again where they've glued it. to seal it with something.
going to leave that for a while for that glue to dry that I put on there to seal the hole. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.